Welcome back, Tangerinis. I'm Jordan. And I am about to freak out. <laughs> something that Jordan has done before either once or twice in Mexico and I have never done it before in fact I've put this off for a reason <laughs> because I've been scared to do it and I just know my Spanish isn't that great to know all the words that I need to know and this is something that I don't even like doing in the US. I'm going to be going first today and this isn't a big deal to me I'll just show them a picture and then they're gonna do their thing. Los precios. 120. So you're about to get your hair cut. Do you have any advice, tips, thoughts, feelings? What would you like to share? Yeah, so <laughs> these are much more advanced words than we're used to for speaking Spanish, like layers and thin it out and stuff like that. So what I do is I find a few pictures of haircuts I like and be like something like this. <laughs> Shampooing isn't included in the price of a haircut, but here it is. And we don't know if you tip for haircuts here generally, so let us know. I left 15 pesos for the 120 peso haircut here. This place is called D Barbershop or Liz Lopez Alternative Hair Salon. I would have gotten my haircut here, but it seems more like uh, they specialize in color. In color, and then doing that like buzz technique where you can add designs and it's like buzzed off. Add your style. I don't think I could pull that off. I really don't. <laughs> Would you recommend this place? Seems pretty good, yeah. You'd come back here? Mm -hmm. Cool. And, and plus, it's cheaper than the typical haircut here. The average haircut I've seen around town is about 150 pesos here in Guadalajara. Which is a bit more expensive than other cities. In other cities, I've seen it range from like 50 to 100 pesos. Mm -hmm. So I found this barber shop by looking up reviews online and this was the only one with a good amount of reviews that also had five stars. There were a lot of reviews in English so I'm guessing he speaks English too but I'm not <laughs> sure because I never tried. <laughs> you only needed a few words and you pointed. Yeah. At one point you said you wanted it shorter on the top and... Yeah basically I'm like mas corte and I don't think his styling job is going to hold up once I hop on a bike. Normally it takes some really firm gel and maybe even some hairspray too yes, to keep my hair in place. Yes, he always uses my hairspray. <laughs> it's not even my hairspray anymore. <laughs> now we're on our way to get Maddie's haircut. We're not there yet. So there's plenty of time to chicken out. Can I go home? Are you hungry? Do you want to take a nap? Do you need to get coffee? Can we do anything else? You Maddie's been practicing some phrases she might need like, oh no my hair! I know me pelo! Oh my gosh. <laughs> You'll have to do some more studying. Okay, so I need to clarify my feelings about getting a haircut in Mexico because I don't want anyone thinking that I think people here wouldn't do a good job. On the contrary, when I was growing up, my mom 
didn't really have a lot of money to take my sister and I to get haircuts. It was either we go to some uh, inexpensive place like Great Clips or Fantastic Sam's or she cuts our hair for us. So as we got older, we mostly wanted to go get our hair cut and especially since we wanted more different hairstyles than just like a, ch a flat trim. <laughs> when we would go to places like Great Clips or specifically Fantastic Sam's, it was almost always Mexican women cutting hair there. And they did the best damn job for like whatever it was, $7, $4.99 if we had a coupon or something. So I have absolutely no doubt that another woman in Mexico will do an amazing job cutting my hair. What I do have doubts about <laughs> are my Spanish abilities to communicate what I'm looking for if the picture doesn't do that for me. Picture is worth a thousand words. I hope those same thousand words apply in Spanish. <laughs> in the meantime, we're practicing some more phrases that we've learned from watching Netflix shows in Spanish, like, ¿Qué has hecho, wey? ¿Qué pasó? <laughs> <laughs> she's not showing it, but she's freaking out right now. the salon until 4.30. We ventured off to try to find another one that had availability sooner. What you mean to say is I temper tantrumed off because I was pissed. And the soccer game has started. The salon that we're going to try to go to is actually close to our house. We passed it a bunch of times but it gets really good reviews. The problem, or well maybe not problem, what we're running into, what we're noticing is that a lot of hair salons in Guadalajara are like edgy specialty salons that do lots of bright vivid colors and like that shaped design thing. I don't know, I just imagine accidentally saying something to give them the idea that's what I want and then I end up having like half a shaved head or so. So here we are to get a few drinks and so that I can loosen the heck up. We just left that restaurant, it was called Frontera Sin Muros, or Border Without Walls. What did you think of it? Well, I thought it was kind of funny. We were looking through the menu, and the different sections had categories like Tijuana, and Illegals, illegales, illegals and things like that. And then there was something like Atun Trump. And I'm like, is this restaurant new? <laughs> <laughs> yes, in fact, it opened this year, and I love that place. Everything, well, almost everything was 15 pesos, then it went up to 20 or 25 pesos. We ordered so many things, so, so many, many things. drinks and tacos and <laughs> foods, and our total bill after tax, it, the prices always include tax, so before tip it was 250 pesos. And we got Maddie some liquid courage for her haircut. So now we're going to attempt to go to another like salon. This actually seems like absurd. I think saying this out loud, <laughs> I needed to have a drink before a haircut. Don't judge me, okay? <laughs> also at this restaurant, we decided to try vampiros, which usually have squirt, clamato, tequila. tequila, lime juice, something else. Some other delicious mixture. They're really good drinks. Well, one ingredient in this was high fructose corn syrup, which I'm pretty sure is in both squirt and clamato. Clamato for sure. That's something that gives me a reaction, just like onion or sesame seeds or peas. And besides what's probably happening on the inside, shredding my intestines or something like that, what's the most notable thing that happens on the outside that you can tell? It looks a little something like this. This splotchy chest thing that's super cute when I eat a food that I don't like, but also it appears on my face and other skin. A food that you don't like? Food that my body doesn't like. I don't like them either for giving me these reactions. <laughs> <laughs> a food that I'm allergic to. So well, It can be a lot more than that. It can, like if she were to eat uh, peas or onions, it's not something that's going to kill her, but yeah. she might be breaking out and have like painful things under the skin for a couple weeks. Yeah. Another place closed. Okay, so we are trying this again. We walked around for hours and hours yesterday trying to find a salon and did not find one that was either open or had availability. And so commenced me calling a bunch of salons. That was just a disaster. You know that it's kind of like muffled on the phone so it made it even more difficult for me to understand people and yeah, that was just... <laughs> 
a disaster. This place that we're going, this one is called Warp and it stands for We Are Real People, apparently. I was able to book the appointment online, so that was really cool. I didn't have to talk to anyone on the phone in Spanish. <laughs> there were a bunch of salons that apparently cost 400 pesos to get a woman's haircut, which, to be perfectly honest, is more than I would pay in the US to get a haircut. This one we found is 260 pesos for the haircut, and it was recommended to us by someone in a Mexpat Guadalajara Facebook group. Gets really high reviews. A guy named Jonathan or Jonathan is cutting my hair. I think we turn right here. I have no more liquid courage because it's now the next day. How are you feeling? Nervous? A little bit. A little bit nervous. I have a feeling they're going to speak English here because why would the name of the business have an English acronym if it wasn't like an English speaking proprietor? Because maybe it's exotic. English is not exotic. But even if they speak English to me, for you guys, I'm gonna try to speak Spanish back to them. Let's just see how this goes. We have arrived a little bit before 11, and it looks like they're closed, so hopefully they're going to be opening soon, because our appointment's in about 10 minutes. I would just like to point out that our friend Emma was helping me with phrases to say for cutting hair, and for Jordan, he says, For Jordan, I think this is going to be easy. So like, even someone who speaks fluent Spanish knows that for guys, it's easy to get a haircut. For girls, good luck! Maybe if you weren't so damn picky. washing my hair, it all happened pretty quickly, so Jordan didn't get this on camera, but I practiced and practiced and practiced saying Me gustaría muchas capas en frente y aquí, 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 wherever I wanted them, and pointing to this picture, this picture, and this picture. Este es su primero corte en México. ¿Dónde es esto? What a classically perfect example of this is just the way that people talk in Guadalajara really fast, really smushed together, really difficult to understand. <laughs> and so begins a horribly humiliating conversation where we try to keep up and try to make small talk, but ultimately we're going to talk in circles. I've listened to this in my headphones while editing this like 300 times with the volume as high as I can do and I still have no idea what he's saying right here so the fact that I even answered this in the moment I don't even know what I was doing. No, vamos a continuar. Vamos a quedar en Guadalajara por cuatro meses más. Ah, eh. Last palabras. <laughs> a ver, hacia dónde se va después. Your next. Uh, uh, destination. No sé. Eres de Guadalajara? Nací en Chiapas, pero sí viví ah, toda sí, yeah. mi vida. Vayan a Chiapas, está muy padre. Todavía estamos aprendiendo español. If anybody wouldn't have figured that out at this point. <laughs> ¿Les ha sido complicado aprenderlo? Un poquito. <laughs> So what I think happened here was he was asking me if my hair is straight or curly, or at least that's what I would expect someone to ask in previous times that I've gotten my hair cut, but he may very well have been asking how I wanted it styled. In any case, I didn't know how to say any of that. So, here's what happened. Uh, <laughs> um, on top, this part is más, um... Como lacio? Sí. Aquí es más... So I do think that we would be able to have much more in-depth, full conversations, but when you're talking to someone and it's hard to hear them and you're 
you're not quite understanding anything they say. For me, it's very easy to get flustered and forget everything. And then once you've asked someone to repeat it a few times and you still don't understand, it's like, oh my gosh, kill me. <laughs> Wow, I feel like a huge weight of hair has been lifted off my head. <laughs> Approximately cinco centimetros. That was a relatively normal experience. They need a wash. He cut the hair. He styled the hair. Curly wavy, which is super cool. And I said before this that the haircut was going to cost 260 pesos. It ended up costing 300 pesos, but that's probably because they did a wash and a style, and that was like the next option. First impressions? I feel happy with this. Seems like he did a really good job. So far, two thumbs up. Do you want to go? For a walk. Do you? Want to go for a walk? Your tail says yes. You say nothing, tail says yes. Gong, gong, gong. <laughs> <laughs> you just go. Gong, gong, gong. <laughs> so it is approximately mango o'clock here in Guadalajara, and we got our afternoon mango. Laska's getting her afternoon walk, and it is just a lovely afternoon to be sporting our new haircuts. No, Laska, don't you? Well, that was a pretty big adventure for today and yesterday, but what do you guys think? What should our next adventure be? Let us know down in the comments. Hopefully you liked this video, and if you did, give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We would love to see you in our next video. And... Gong that bell! So you get notified the next time we put out a new video. And we will... Will you? See you there. <laughs>